My name is Steve Williams. We are setting out on a quest to capture some of the most highly active paranormal activity across the Nevada desert. Ever since I was a small child I have been followed by a demon. With no big camera crews following us around, I am joined only by fellow investigator and explorer Jared Tucker and Jacob Sinai, as well as some special guests along the way. Join us as we investigate some of the most highly active paranormal locations as we spend a night in torment, pain, fear, and anguish. This is a day on the trail scenic paranormal. Ah! Alright, welcome back guys. So we are on a mission tonight. We are doing a criminal investigation at Fox Ridge Park in Henderson, Nevada. Now this park is haunted by a little boy that well, got hit by a drunk driver years ago. And uh, it's, a, it's a really sad story and we're going to try to make, see if we can get in contact with him. The overall goal for tonight is to try to help him pass over. But it might be a bit difficult. He doesn't like to be seen. And when you do see him, apparently he turns into something dark and then disappears. So we're gonna try to see what we can get, it, how we can do this. Um, I brought a few objects with me, to try and help us with this. But we're joined here by Jared. Hello. And we are on our way to the park. So um, stay tuned, guys, for season two of A Day on the Trail coming your way in September 2024. I'll see you guys at the park. Why is there a car? Why did that car just turn around? Is this the park closed and that's security? No, people come here at night all the time. That car has a dog. That was weird. They pulled in to right there. And now they're there. Hopefully. Just try to keep an open mind, yeah. Now we have to find the swings. Actually, that, oh my god, that's the swing right there. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Is that perfect? Huh? Where? That has to be him. Oh. In memory of Steve M. Saney. Where's the other name? You saw. You said there's two names. Steve M. Saney. Oh. Dave A. Bender. Oh, oh yeah. Two people. Can't see the other one. That's the swing right there, that moves. Okay, little boy. I heard what happened to you, we're here to hear your, listen to your story. I, just before we get into this though, I, I know that you don't like to be seen. And uh, we, we're come here with all, of all the respect that we can. But if you don't want to be seen, that's perfectly cool. We're not gonna look at you. Just know that if at any time you want to show yourself or make yourself make make your presence known, that's perfectly okay too. We're here to try to communicate with you and try to figure out what happened to you. I understand you were hit by a drunk driver on the road and you tragically passed away. And I'm sorry to hear that. And we're just here to document you. We're not. We don't mean any harm. Or anything like that. Who 
We bought a bunch of equipment and stuff. Just don't be afraid of it. It's You can use it to tell your story. I understand that there I'm looking at is a swing that you like to swing on a lot. The one that moves is going to be the left one. But which pocket is what you have to in? I'm going to show this one. That's, uh... Hold on a second. It's fully red right here. It's all the way. Is this you? Let go of this if this is you. Let go of the EMF of this device in my hand if this is you. It's not going to. So, um, oh boy. I don't know your name. I would love to know your name. Because, like, names are awesome. You know that? So, you might be curious about this device. Oh, uh, what happened to my phone? Ah, shit. My phone. My phone is in your in your in the car. Okay. Here's that. Allow me to start my shit. Now you can speak into this device here. Uh, turn on airplane mode. Yo, stay over here. Stay over here. Come here. Come here. It just said magic. What's your name? What's your name? Is this here the swing that you like the most? I hope I'm not sitting on yours. I'm sitting here. Kathleen. Kathleen? Is that your name? I also heard it was a boy. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I have a co-worker named Shannon. He's a guy. Is it okay that we're here? Is this you that you're... Did you just move the swing? Hold on a second. I want to try to back to the spirit box. Where's my spirit box at? Oh. Also... Did you just touch the swing? No. Oh, so, uh -huh. Go ahead and touch the swing for me. Where did 
he go? Why the fuck is he going so far? He needs to fucking stop without any that reader. I brought you something. I got you a gift. It has a name. It seems Rocky. What is he doing? Alright, so you guys want to have an update? Okay, Apple. Am I not welcome here? Could be a sign if I'm not welcome here. I need a friend. And I want to hear your story. I want to hear to you what happened to you. I understand it's a very sad story. That I want to help, help you. In whatever way I can. Same thing. I'm trying to make you trust me. I know what I'm doing, I'm going to try to help you through it. Give me a sign if you know what I'm doing. You know, here's the thing. I'm not trying to harm you, but it's respectful. Yeah. Give me a sign. Make a noise. Show yourself. Make one of those monster cans on the table fall over. Take that one. What do you mean by take it here? Can you explain more? He said, try to find you. He should come over here because I bought a gift for you. It's sitting here on your favorite swing. Off to my right. Give me a sign. Try to move this swing. I to do every night. Let's just have to move the swing. That's when the time gets back. You do that for Give us the angle a little like that. Do it harder though. We need the energy from any of the devices that we have. Everything needs the energy from Jared. Or me. Give me a sound, please. I just heard something. I heard, I heard like, these are You all around here? Did you just make a sound? Yeah. And a... Yeah. Is that the name you're talking about or the color? Just in case you haven't heard before. My name is Jared. J-A-R-C. That's Steve. It makes you feel a little bit more comfortable around us. Well, if you pass it, but you don't like doing the scene, you know, if you look into your eyes, you turn to something dark, and then you disappear. 
You want us to go away, so at least we finish that. Yeah. Can you give me a confirmation, a yes or a no, if you want us to do that? Well, I don't know what's going on here, but this EMF hasn't stopped. It just hasn't stopped this whole time. Impassively. I never heard that word before. What? Impassively. I never heard that word before. What does impassively mean? So it's also helpful. Giving no is get so impassive means giving no sign of feeling or emotion. Uh, you saw that, right? Uh, My light just is going out. How old are you? Expressionless. How to use an impassive in a sentence? Whatever. Are you taking the energy from my light on my head? It's perfectly okay for you to do so. If you want to, you can make this use all of the energy from the light on my head. You won't be able to see you or anything around there. If you want to do that, feel free. You have my full consent to do that. Leave this place. Why do you want us to leave? I don't need you have to, the only way for us to leave is you gonna have to stare us out of here. That's the only way we will leave. You have to stare us out of here. So there's something you might not know about Steven. Oh boy. Um he's really easily scared, so if you show up like a demon form or something like that. He'll, he'll run out of here faster than you can blink. Not literally, though. He's, uh... Not that bad. You have to give us a sign if you don't want me being doing this right now. Magnetic. Exactly, this meter that's lighting up in my hand, it can, it, it can detect the magnetic field that in which you produce. Weirdo. Weirdo. Which one of us is the weirdo? Him or me? I think it's me. Let's be perfectly real. But hey, that makes sense though. Because normally, like, when you're around, like, a little kid, and you do something that, that they wouldn't do, they would think you're weird for doing it. So, uh, that really makes sense, if that's the little boy saying that. That's interesting. What? There's this magnetic interference thing right here? Yeah, that, that, oh, that's just like an EMF reader. The number goes up the higher I hold it. Whoa. What? Don't walk away? Is that what it said? Also, um, this thing is hanging around like 40 to 45. I put it near the doll thing and it dropped to like 38. That's, that's awesome. It's at 30. Wait and see. I can't see. Here, let me turn on the light for you. Can't see. Let me get this straight. You can't see? Can you see us now? 
Is that what the issue was? Couldn't see that there's no light? Maybe try to feel around for our energy. Like, maybe you can feel us as, like, living creatures. So, like, that way you can get to us. Yeah, dude. Brain it. it. Something about this doll is dropping magnetic interference to like 25. You know what Jacob said when he was at my house and saw that? Saw that he was like, "There's something in this doll." Aura. 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 That's very interesting because when Jacob saw that doll, he said he saw something in his eyes. Disagree. Disagree. It's weird. Also, am I wrong about that? Yeah, that's the swing that's in there. Oh, okay. Destroy. You don't, you don't like, do you not like the doll? What? Do you want me to get rid it of the doll? It goes up. Voice. Are you, uh, are you simply a voice? Not like... Me. Disagree. Oh, no. Hidden. You're hidden? Are you hiding behind a tree? Where are you hiding? Stephanie. Is that your name or is that the name of someone else? Bro, my GoPro is extremely fucking hot right now. What the hell does that mean? Instrumental trans. Communication. Communication. That maybe. was all one thing. Or do you want us to pull out an instrument of some sort for you to play? Like, I'm pretty sure it means instrument as in like something like the EMF reader, a tool. Ah. Yeah, what, uh, we can use this thing that I'm holding right here that, it, like, we can hear your voice. Alright, we're picking up some evidence right now, but I'm trying to save my battery on my GoPro, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, you are not gonna believe this shit. We, on this, on my phone, it just said, help right away. And there's a fucking ambulance. There's an ambulance driving by. There's a fire, it looks like a fire truck down there. What are the odds of that? It's Henderson Fire Department. What are, what are the odds of that? That is actually freaky as hell. It just said male. Like, man. Male. Killed. Male killed. Oh my god. That... Man, was that you? Are you... Hushed. Were is that, you... Uh, is that what you were saying? You needed help right away. And a man killed by pushing you with their car? Is that or, what you're saying? Or, or were you pushed into the road and you got hit by the car? Yeah, did somebody, like, push you into the road? Is that what you mean? That is so freaky that that just happened. I have a theory. You, um, you walk away, like, a decent distance, and I'm, because it only talks when you're not near me, so maybe it prefers talking one-on-one. -on -one. So okay, I can do that. I'll stay by the swing. Alright, I'm going to You guys in a bit. Okay, so Jared captured a picture of a shadow figure over here. Um, I'm gonna put try to have him send that to me and have it be posted. But I'm gonna... what the fuck was that? I just heard something.
there was someone walking by over here. So I'm thinking there was just a, the person walking by. So I see walking. What the fuck? I just saw something move. Jared! Jared! There's something down there. It, I shined my flashlight on it. It looked like so human, but it looked so misty at the same time. And it just it like got on the ground. Like when you get arrested, it just got on the fucking ground. Did you just say get arrested? It gets on the ground. The same time you started running, the thing said criminal. There's no fucking way. Show that to me. Like, show me you. It said something else. Give me a second. It said change voice. What is? It said stay here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're staying here. That I I don't know if it was like a homeless person. An animal? I don't see anyone else White over here. White eye. Is something wrong with its right eye? I think it was like somewhere right over where I'm shining a flashlight at. But it was actually, it was further towards that reflector. So it's like right over there. Why should we stay here? What's out oh, there? One second. Benjamin. Listen off a lot of names. Who are these names for? Benjamin, that's one of the plaques I saw by the trees. You're in trouble. I have the... So from what I've gathered, it said, go outside and something bad will happen. So can you confirm this to me, whoever's speaking with us? Do you buy go outside? Do you mean if we exit this fence right here, something yeah. bad's gonna happen? That's my interpretation. We're safe here. It's saying stay here, go outside, something bad will happen. Yeah. Number. Is the spirit of the little boy trying to protect us? Do we like this place? Because it said help us leave. Us. Where is this? The fuck? I heard a click right above my head, but that's just Scott. He hates you. Who hates me? What's his name? Is his name Jonathan? Gabriel? No, Benjamin. I have no clue. I have no fucking clue. I'm thinking he thinks you're the police. That's what I was thinking, kind of. And you shining your flashlight around. Maybe he's like crawling away. Because I went over there to talk to him to see like, oh, it's probably just a normal guy. I said evening and he just stood there looking at me. All I could see was his right eye. Definitely. Definitely he hates you. Okay. You know, I think everyone that was here just left. Huh? I think it's literally just us here right now, and whoever the fuck that is. Would it be a bad idea if we went over there again? What the fuck is that? See what's going on? I mean, there's two of us and one of him, and we both got knives. Yo, I just saw something right where they were on my flashlights. I just saw a black mass. It's low to the ground. 16. It said 17 before. It's moving. There's a tree right there. It's to that light, to that light pole that's over there. Yeah. To the left of there is that tree. It's behind that tree. Perfumery. One spirit. There's one. You think that's the little boy? Lee. This is a tall guy. Like this is fucking big. I think it was. I don't fucking know, but I think it was big. Well, I went. Okay, 
Okay, so the homeless guy is inching closer to us. I'm trying to get all this stuff here on video. It's coming. Did you see him? It's crouching behind the hill. Behind the hill? It looked like he was just minding his own business and walking over there, but still, he's getting closer. Has your thing said anything? Or did you turn it off? Um, I, I, I turned it off. Let's move somewhere else. Might put us at a disadvantage, but we're still in play. Let's move a little bit further away from him. We're trying yeah, to people do the SS method with no shirt, uh, with no blindfold sometimes anyway, so I'll just do it with no. Except. And you're supposed to ask questions too. Oh, I'm supposed to? Yeah. Okay. Uh, little boy, are you near us? Why not? Why not what? Test me. Is that guy that was following us over there, is he a spirit or is he a real person? One. One what? Be specific, please. What the? Still going. Okay. Being happy. One of you is being happy. That's good to hear. Have you been fun interacting with us tonight? Down. Down? Do you want us to go down back to the playground? I reckon, I think. So you want us to go to the playground? Attention. What do you want us to see? Hello? That was a question. Hello? Yes, we are here. The, uh, we are sitting on this bench. My friend Steven here is doing something called the Estes Method. If you want to speak, speak now. Interest. Yeah, uh, yes. The, uh, this is a very interesting method, and we are very interested to hear you. Getting. Getting what? On the ground. Is the stranger over there getting on the ground? Always. Feeling. 
always feeling white. Are you, Critical. Are you always in pain from the accident? It said something, I don't know what it said. Could you repeat what you just said? Oh, as I was talking, it said a whole sentence. I didn't catch it though. Could you repeat? We interrupted you and, uh, and I apologize. Do that. Do you want us to head down to the playground? Pointless. Is what we're doing pointless? Normal. What is normal for you? That's something I didn't catch it. Could you repeat yourself, please? I just heard the clearest voice. I don't know what it said, but it was the clearest voice. Okay. We didn't catch what you just said, but we are hearing you loud and clear now. So, could you repeat? Please? Tripping. Who's tripping? Listen to this. Five. Hey guys. Hello. We are listening. Did you make a sound? We may have missed it. Hit by a car. Hit by a car. It just said hit by a car. Well, now we know who we're talking to. Great. Yes, we know you were hit by a had car. Enough. You've had enough? Do you want us to leave? Inquire. We will. Uh, I am inquiring you to show uh, to show yourself, to show your truest form to us, if possible. Yes. You will. Great. It's awesome, man. Thank you. Do you want us to return to the playground? Fine. I think it said fine. Would it be better if we stayed here or went to the playground? We need a definitive answer. Negative. Understood. That was the clearest negative. Help her. Who is her? Eerie much, I think. Rivalry. Was this her? Someone you, uh, you competed with? Perhaps a sister? Danger. Danger? 
Danger of what? Did you see something? No, I was just checking around since they said danger. What are we in danger of? Chris? Chris? Is Chris close to us? Newborn. Baby. Should we be afraid of Chris, this newborn? 32. He's 32 now. Thirty-two years old? Yes. Is that who the strange man is over there? On the other side of the playground? Dead. Is Chris dead? Dead. So he is. Dead. Follow. Where uh, is Chris following us as a dead person? I don't give a fuck. Clearly you don't fear us nor Chris. Should we follow you somewhere? Twenty twenty. What happened in twenty twenty? No. No? What didn't happen in twenty twenty? I love you. Can you say the name of the one you love? Pardon? Can you say the name of the one you love? For yep. those on the GoPro, asbestos is said. Uh, it said uh, the ambulance drove by. Yeah, the fire yeah. truck. Yeah, the fire truck drove by too. Jesus. If we said a prayer from Jesus, would that help you? Watch me, bitch. Okay, where should we look? Emergency. Were you in that emergency vehicle? Always. I asked, are you in that emergency vehicle? Always. He's dead. Who's dead? Chris? You? Midnight. Rick. Was that the person in the ambulance? Them. 
Are you talking to us or are you talking to someone else? Obviously. Call them. Call back. Louisiana. Port. Who are you talking to? Bro. I had to shut it off. It just started screaming shit at me. I couldn't understand it, but... When it said, kill them, I, uh, I asked, are you talking to us or are you talking to someone else? And it said, obviously. Obviously, it meant someone else. Well, I have never felt a sense of unease. Can I try the SS method? I don't know. No, I'm just... It's one more time. It's exactly fucking midnight. As, as soon as you it, take the camera, as soon let me do it. No, don't. Yes. It's no. It's for your fucking safety. It is Steven. The S is, no. I am. Uh, I am a new moon baby. No. Can, no. Uh, I have been immune to this paranormal stuff. And besides, the ghost kid is following me. Just don't. It's, yes. Let me do it. No. Come on. It's Steven. for the best. Steven, come on. No one's holding. My heart is fucking racing right now. Yeah, my turn. I'll even blindfold myself to, uh, just to be like. You don't know what the SS method. You sometimes cannot get yourself out of it. People cannot get you out of the SS method. It's very dangerous to do, and I just had to force myself out of it. If I stayed in there for for longer, I wouldn't be able to fucking do anything. Steven. I'd just be stuck. No. Steven, come on. Please. You said you wanted to help this ghost boy. Let's help him a little bit. <laughs> Wait. Yes, this method is dangerous. You can sometimes not escape it. Oh, shit. Steven, did you just get fucking possessed? Fucking hell. Man. What you crying about? Me pestering? It's me pestering. Yeah, I understand it. I can be annoying. I just feel like... I'm I don't know what the fuck just happened to me. As far as I can tell, nothing. <laughs> just, uh... Steven? Light turned off. If you were fucking close to us, could you make like a noise or show yourself, please? Oh my god. That would be awesome. Watch. Can I try the answer? Get the fuck away from me! Steven's a little volatile right now. Could you take a few steps back, please? He's, uh... I fucking said back off in the name of Jesus Christ. Get off of me. In the, in the name of the Lord and Holy Ghost and all that shit, um... Yeah, you're not allowed to, like, possess us or follow us or uh, home or any of that. Like, we, we got, like, holy protection and all that shit. I know it doesn't sound like it. I know it sounds like we're sinners, but God loves everyone. <laughs> including you. If you really accept the Lord into your heart, maybe you can, like, free yourself too. Steven? Alright, ghosty, follow me. We're over here now. We stay over here. Tell me. Away from Steven. Tell me, the camera's on.
So here's Steven. Oh, that's not the right one. Here's Steven. Oh my fucking god, my stomach. It just feels like I just got fucking stabbed. Alright, ghosty. Stay near me. Thank you. Just stay away from Steven at the moment. He's He's able, uh, he's not able to handle this. It's his first time. So please be patient. We appreciate you reaching out to us in such an extreme manner. Like this has been awesome. We're having a lot of fun out here and I hope you're having a lot of fun too. Keep in mind, we can't hear you right now. We turned off our listening devices and all that. So, you know, if you want to stay near me, it's cool. I don't have a problem with it. Just please get away from Steven. Okay, guys. It's been an experience. That The light just fucking shut off. What the fuck? Really? I didn't notice. So, uh, I think it's Yo. best that we get the fuck out of here because I don't know what that this was. This guy almost like. got possessed by a demon. I don't know what that was I experienced, but... Okay, we're going to do something. I'm part Cherokee. So, this is supposed to help cleanse ourselves. I am fucking not. So, stand up straight, legs straight to part. Pump your chest out, keep your arms back like this, and let out the, the, your most powerful Alright, so, um, this was crazy night. I, I have no fucking energy left in me. Everybody, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of A Day on the Trail, Scenic Paranormal. See you again in the next one, everybody. Take care. Peace.